Well, I definitely have to say that if you go to any construction site, uh, until the house is done or the building or whatever it is, it's going to be an organized mess. You're going to have that. Now when you add kids riding their little bikes around it and having to, you know, navigate that, then that gets a little, you know, I got a little, I got in trouble for that, for kind of integrating my family with the construction of this beautiful space. You know, at first we were separate and they, they, I had my own house and it just started, I was spending more and more time organizing the space and putting it together that it kind of just got closer and closer. You what know, do you mean you got in trouble for it? Like trouble, like... It was a concern to people. It became a concern that the kids were in, the could get hurt. And so I worked out, basically, we got involved in a C, what they call a CPS case. And I was really afraid of what was gonna happen. And CPS was amazing. For all the stories that I heard, CPS worked right along with us. And they helped uh, get the children in with my mom and my sister. And they gave us a whole you know, slew of workshops like parenting and you know just management of, of you know because we looked like kind of like crazy artists so we had the court mandated you know whole slew of classes you had to do and workshops and things mm -hmm. and we did them and we were grateful for it and because we never missed a day and like right away CPS started flying us to LA and renting us hotel rooms to be with our kids every other weekend mm -hmm. every other weekend we flew to LA and spent three four days with them flew back and then continued Getting what they called the clutter and everything. just get you know cleaning up the space because it was a it was a working project in, in process. So, um, and that was performance space and art <laughs> studio space. <laughs> Tony, I got to define this space. <laughs> There's Tony, you guys. He's, all, he's, he's more eloquent than I. <laughs> <laughs> you define but you know, in the beginning, like you know, I was going out and you know, I would do, I would get an old like car and I would bring into the yard and take a, uh, off the fender and the hubcaps and so until like Daryl, until Daryl loaded up the parts of the car we didn't want to get him out of there like there'd be a little mess. But that's like any warehouse. That's why we got a warehouse with a giant yard and a giant space and so there was always like a process of like you know sawing wood, there'd be debris like that's what, that's all that they're talking about and then the time, there's a period of like where there was no power because the transformer caught on, uh, on fire. And I mean, this is like the stuff that I'm, I don't really want to talk about because I don't understand it. And this is definitely pg and &E and this is definitely the, the owners. But there was a period of time where there was, it was dark there. How had, long? Um, about two months. No power for two months. No, so I had to run a generator. I had to run, go to the neighbors and like tap into their power like so we'd have light and, and that. That, that's when, uh, th that's the dark, you know, we call it the dark period of Satyuga. You know, mm -hmm. we were known as Satyuga at first. 